A mixed group of young professionals in the Brainerd Lakes area called Lakes Ignite has continued to grow since its establishment in 2015. Just in time to start the new year, the group has decided to renovate their vision for the group. Our Logan Gay has more. According to the Brainerd Lakes Area Economic Development Corporation, Crow Wing County is home to over 14,000 people aged 25 to 44. Although they live in a rural community, many of those people are looking for a stimulating lifestyle. What young people are looking for is a lot with what has to do with down in the metro and the metro areas, what they have. We don't have a lot of that up here. Since its creation in 2015, Lake Ignite has attracted over 70 young professionals from all over the region. When they meet, the young professionals share connections and ideas about the direction of the Brainerd Lakes region. The Brainerd City is looking at the riverfront. I know that's moving forward and they're looking at other opportunities to grow downtown Brainerd to make it a hub of where you want to go and not just a bypass area. As they continue to grow, so has their vision. Our new vision is to inspire younger generations to engage in the Brainerd Lakes area community and ignite meaningful connections through shared experiences and opportunities. And Lake Ignite is hoping that the connections and the friendships that are made through the organization will help other young professionals decide to keep their talents and their resources here. We want them to have longevity within the Brainerd Lakes area and like, like you said, find friends and find people that you connect with and you have a similar bond with so you can continue that relationship on and don't leave the area. Lakes Ignite will be launching a new website in January in Brainerd, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. And Lakes Ignite will be hosting an ugly Christmas sweater party tomorrow at a bar in Brainerd called Sheps on 6th. They'll be raising money for the Heart Animal Rescue. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.